how to concatenate values in Excel or in other words, how can we group informations together? We're going to see here four different examples, including how can we use a VLOOKUP function to bring back some information that depends on two different criteria, as you can see here. So let's take a look on how can we use concatenate function in Excel in a practical way. So the first example that I have is a list of names. And those names are split from, let's say, I have a name, and also in the, another column, I have the sure name of the person. But other thing is, I need to have the full name of this person. I need to append the sure name to the name of the person. There's many different ways how can I do it. One of the most simplest ways possible is to use the equal sign and then the concat function in Excel. There's two different functions. There's the, this newer one that is the concat, and there is the old one that is the concatenate. You can choose whatever you, you want to use because it's exactly the same. So let me stick with the newer version. Double click here, one, two. And then the only argument that I have within the concatenate function is the values that I want to concatenate together. As I want to first use the name, so I can click in the cell where I have the name, and then a comma. Now I can select the sure name like this. Okay, if I press enter, as you can see, the result is, is this one that we, that we got here. We already could append the sure name with the name, but maybe we can improve a little bit because I can separate the name from the sure name and I can use a space to do so. So let's do it. Again, double click in the cell, one, two, to open the cell. And uh, in between one, the name and the sure name, I want to append a space. So let me put another comma here, like the one that you are seeing here. And uh, now, in between those commas, I want to input open parentheses, open quotations, sorry, and close quotations. That's it. And in between those quotations, I want to input a space like this. You can also input a lot of spaces, but I just want to use just one like this. Enter. Now we have the final result that I was looking for. The name, Emily, and then space, Smith. So I could separate the sure name from the name. That's it. Now let me click in the, the bottom right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure I can apply the same function to all the rows that I have. Now the second example that I have is I need to create an email address for each one of those people that we have in the list. So how can I do it? I can use again the concatenate function in Excel. Equal sign concatenate. Let's use the newer version, but I, if you want to use the last one, you can do so. One, two to select. Now Let's think, how can I create the email address? Maybe I can use the name and then I can use a dot or a period and then the sure name of the person at email.com, for example. So let's do it. The first thing that I need to use is the name of the person like this, comma. And then I want to use a dot or a period. So I can open quotations, period, close quotations, Comma. Now I can go to the sure name like this and comma. Now my third and last argument here is going to be open quotations at mail.com, for example. Close quotations, close parentheses, and then enter. As you can see, now I have a customized email that I create for the first person that I have. I could also change and I first start with the sure name and then the name of the person. It doesn't matter, okay? It's going to work in the same way. Let me click in the bottom right corner of the cell, hold, click, hold, and drag down to make sure we can apply the same function to all the rows, and we're done. Now, another thing that we can use using the concatenate function is creating a password. So let's say to this password, I want to make something simple, something temporary that you need, you're going to need to change later. Uh, as the password, I can use again equal sign concatenate function, one, two. I can use the, the email itself like this, and then comma. And I want to add some numbers here. Maybe open quotations, one, two, three, close quotations, close parentheses, and that's it. Enter. So just a simple password, just a sample. Click in the bottom right corner of the cell, and yeah, that's it. A temporary password. Okay. Now let's move on to the last example that we need to, to see here, and uh, the last question that we, we need to solve. That is maybe the most difficult one. As you can see, I have this sales report list. But uh, there is two information missing here, being missing. The commission in, per in percentage and also the commission in dollars. How can I bring back as a result the commission? I can use, let's say, the item as a criteria and also the category. And then bring back the commission 
and the commission in dollars is going to basically be a multiplication something is to do but anyway if, if we go here to my table that i can use as reference i can see that i have a lot of different products item one two and three or just three different products because then all those products is going to be repeated as you can see here all those products is going to appear again but for a different category so item one category a item one category b and all those different items in categories has a different commission so i need to pay attention on these details because they're going to have two arguments two criteria to use the product and also the category and how can i use the vlookup function here to look up for two different criteria to bring back as result because we are used to use the equal sign v lookup function and only use the own one lookup value that is can be either the item three or category b for example product or category but how can i use both at the same time we can use again the concatenate function here but um, before we start it i'm gonna need to use a helper column here in the products list i'm gonna use the first column to help me so i can call it helper for example and in this column i want to append the product with the category because that way we can group together the two different criteria that we need to use in the VLOOKUP function and that, that way instead of having let's say two criteria we're gonna have only one criteria because we appended together two criteria into one so here in the helper i want to use again equal sign concatenate function one two to select and i want to select first the product but the problem is i can't click in the cell where i have the product because this bar is above the product so the product is underneath it how can i do it i can click in any cell and then click hold and drag underneath okay like this comma now the second thing that i want to append is the category like this enter okay now i have the item one append to the category let me click in the bottom right corner of the cell hold down like this now we can use the vlookup function in excel and it's gonna work properly equal sign the lookup function double click one two and as the first argument we have the lookup value the lookup value needs to match with our criteria and as our criteria is using the product append to the category we also gonna need to select as the lookup value the product with the category and to do so we can use concat again within the vlookup function one two okay so i want to use the product comma the category like this and then close parentheses, comma. Now we can move to the second argument, that is the table array. And as you saw, uh, in the lookup value, we did use the concat function in Excel. So, okay, let's move on to the table array. The table that I want to use to look up the thing that I need and also to bring it back the result is going to be this table right here. Column I, J, K, and L. Okay. And then, comma, the column index number corresponding to the column that i want to bring back as result and the column that i want to bring back as result is the column the fourth one the column number four the commission so this is what i'm gonna input here the number four comma as the range lookup i want to have uh, exactly match double click one two close parentheses and then enter we're done so let's take a look if it's correct item three category b is equal to 17. item item three category b okay item three category b 17. yes it's correct uh we could also made some errors because as you can see i have item three to the category a and uh, the commission is different but at this time it's correct so let me double click in the bottom right corner of the cell click two times fast one two okay that's it and we're done now the commission in dollars is way simpler to create equal sign is the multiplication between the commission times the sales enter okay i done again double click one two so this is how we can use the concatenate function in excel with multiple different examples i hope you guys enjoyed this video and now of course if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below because every day has a new video